Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Gashi's Kaman TV, the tallest man in Black Africa. Karogo Wazangwa, the Kiabu senator, has proposed a four-year term for the president, the governors, the senators, the members of parliament, the women rep, and the MCAs. Meaning, instead of having five years uh, term, we shall be having four years. This comes against the backdrop of Samson Cheregei, who had proposed a seven-year term for the president all the way to the MCAs. Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening here? And before we continue, let me know your opinion. Do you support four years term or seven years term? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, why is this happening? That's the big question that you want us to address. Why are we moving from five years to seven years or five years to four years? Number one in my view, Karogo Wadangwa is motivated by the bitterness. The bitterness of the Gashagwa impeachment, the way he has been hounded out of office. The bitterness of betrayal. Betrayal of William Samuel Ruto to the Gamma Nation. Betrayal of William Samuel Ruto to Kenyans. Betrayal of William Samuel Ruto of lying to the nation that you would give free diapers to women that his, half of his cabinet would be women, that he will never, ever, uh, allow anybody to mistreat or insubordinate his deputy. So the bitterness is motivating Karugo Wadangwa. The other issue here is that when you look at it very clearly, these are battle lines that are being drawn. The battle lines against the Gamma Nation and the Kaliji Nation. If you look at those two, these two leaders, they come from uh, different communities. In fact, the Kalijins and um, the Kikuyus uh, have always had uh, issues. And it is Urumwe Kinyata who actually uh, brought these two communities together. Just like he brought the Luos and the Kikuyus together. But now the lines are being drawn. The fact that the Kikuyus are feeling alienated, the fact that um, the Karajin feel that Gashagwa should be a half-term president, then the Gamma Nation are also feeling that William Samuel Ruto's term also need to be shortened. So these are battle lines that are being drawn. And this is what is going to happen in the 2027 general elections. In fact, Anybody who support William Samuel Ruto in Mount Kenya will be, defeated, will be defeated in the morning. That is what will happen. It is, this is actually an indication that the Gamma Nation and the Kaliji Nation will not vote for the same cardinate. They will not be on the same side. They will be on the opposing side. Number three, in my view, I'm looking at uh, uh, Gamma. Gemma uh, is feeling that um, uh, it has been uh, it has it, it has been betrayed, and therefore they want to shorten Ruto's presidency. They cannot imagine. In fact, many people are asking. I've heard many people asking uh, if what can happen for this remaining years to be shortened. <laughs> In fact, there's so many people asking that it was very kobali sana, and um, this is a feeling, by the way. This is a feeling. You know uh, what is in the heart, the mouth speaketh, and this is what is now being brought uh, in the Senate for for discussion because uh, people are fed up. In fact, people are completely fed up by this regime. This is a genesis of. Karugo Wadangwa's motion. This is the idea behind. No, but when you look at um, uh, Samson Cheregei, Samson Cheregei want to lengthen, <laughs> want to lengthen the term of the uh, president and the governors, and he want to rope in 
everyone so that they can agree to vote for it. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think Samson Cheregei want to lengthen the term of the president and all the way to the senators, including governors and uh, women rep? Why do you think he's doing this? In my view, he is being motivated by greed. The greed for our resources, or not, uh, the greed for our taxes. You know, they cannot believe that two years is gone and they have not done anything. Time is not on their side. They have not been able to accumulate as much money as they have, would have wanted. Because from all angles, this government is raised with so many scandals. There are so many scandals that have been associated with this government within just a, sh a, 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 a term of two years. Two years and the country has not witnessed anything. There are no development. There's nothing that you can be able to show and say this is what the government has done. So it is this idea that is motivating Samson Kereye to bring that motion so that if uh, the members of parliament and the senator can agree, then uh, maybe we may end up uh, going to the election. The other issue is about the ground. When you go to the Karijin nation, you realize that um, these people are very bitter with Gashagwa. Very bitter with Gashagwa. And they feel that, um, in fact, I had one of them saying that, um, uh, I don't I, I think I, had that, I have that video here. There was this guy who was saying that um, the people are, have issues with the Karijin president and he was saying about 1982 what happened to Moi and now they are saying about William Samaruto. And the guy was arguing, saying that nothing happened to Kenyatta, nothing happened to Kebaki, nothing happened to Uhuru Mwai Kenyatta. So it was very bitter that uh, people are interfering or want William Samaruto uh, to uh, actually uh, be a one-term president. So it is this that is now motivating the uh, Kaji nation, and that is how the ground is, is saying. That's the, the, actually the true situation of the ground in the Kaji. But now, when you come to the Yemen nation, the ground is now speaking a different language. As I have said, they are feeling nothing has been done. They feel that um, they made a mistake. They don't have a party of their own. They feel that they are lost. And therefore, uh, that's why they want a four-year term. There is also the issue of the business environment. Karogwa Mdangwa is being motivated. You know, majority of Kikuyus are businessmen. There are no jobs. Uh, that's why most of them, and in Kenyans in general, the business environment is not friendly. People have been closing their shops. I don't know whether you know of a person who was doing very well during Kibaki and Uhuru's time, but it has closed shop. I know of people who have done it. I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them. So what you are saying here is that um, things have become very, very difficult under William Samoy Ruto's presidency. The business environment is very tricky. The business environment is very hostile because of punitive taxes and so on and so forth. There is also the issue of what has been happening, uh, the abductions, the arbitrary arrest, the threats. Just, I think, is it yesterday or the before yesterday that Gaido was arrested? And people are bitter of what is happening. People are not happy with what is happening. And that's why they feel that five years is too long a term for one person to be in office and they want the electorate to be given that mandate to, if they want to return the people uh, to uh, the office, they can do it within four years. I also support four-year term from where I sit. That would be the best thing. And I think uh, Karogwa Dhangwa is also being motivated by the fact that, uh, you know, the crowd, the, the electorate, feel very much offended by the people. They feel very, very much offended by these leaders. And now they, he must come up with something that is going to please the electorate and he is doing it very well and people are happy with him i don't know what you think but from where i sit it is getting very very interesting meanwhile uh gashagwa case is going on let's see uh, what the court will have maybe today as uh, times go by bye bye